Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to the first part of my guide on the Varrock task system. In this video, we'll be going through the easy tasks. So, before we start with this guide, I'm just going to go through the requirements and items needed in order to complete all of the tasks in the easy set. So you need the following requirements, you must have completed the dig site quest, and you also need level 13 agility, level 8 crafting, level 20 fishing, and level 15 mining. As for items, you need a pickaxe, the one on your tool belt will work, uh, you'll need some coins, um, any hatchet, again the one on your tool belt will work, some regular bones, soft clay, earth talisman or an earth tiara, omni tiara or wicked hood with an earth talisman absorbed into it. You will need a cup of tea, a fly fishing rod, again this one works on your tool belt, uh, several feathers and 50 kudos, um, but I will tell you how to obtain kudos during this if you haven't got um, some already. So that's it for the requirements and items, now on to the tasks. So the tasks um, that I will be talking you through can be done in any order. The order I'm kind of doing it in is trying to sort of make it the quickest, um, but like I said, you can um, do them in any order you wish. You may also find that you've done a lot of these um, tasks already on your general sort of traveling around uh, RuneScape. So if it doesn't come up saying task completed, it may be you've already done that, but you can check that by going to your uh, task list and it should have a tick next to it if you've already done it. So we're currently at the Varrock Lodestone, obviously most of these tasks will take place around Varrock so I would recommend you have this unlocked so you can keep teleporting back to it when need be. The first task we're going to go complete is called Strike a Pose and that is to have uh, Tessalia show you what outfits you can wear. So she can be found in the clothes store, sort of in the middle of Varrock just before the fountain. Uh, you want to right click her and um, choose to change your clothes. You mustn't have any weapons, armor or anything on uh, for you to change and also you must have no overrides on either. Um, you don't actually have to change your clothes to um, complete the task. You can literally just load up the interface and then close it. And if, unless you've already done this before, it'll come up for saying uh, task being complete. So the next task is Essential Facilitator, and that is to have Aubrey teleport you to the Essence Mine. So you're going to go to the um, Rune Crafting Store, which is located in the southern sort of part of Varrock. Um, I've got a little icon being displayed on the minimap. Uh, you want to head that way, and then when you approach Aubrey, if you right-click him and put Teleport, you'll be teleported to the Essence Mine. And unless you've done this before, it will come up saying task being complete. So the next task is called doing the ironing and that's to mine some iron ore in the mining spot southeast of Varrock. So first we're going to go back to the Varrock Lodestone via the Lodestone network. Once you arrive, keep heading east until you reach the mining area, then you see some iron rocks scattered around. Uh, mine the iron rocks using your pickaxe from your tool belt until you get some iron ore and unless you've already done this previously it will come up saying task being completed. So the next task is called Plank You Very Much, and that is to get a regular plank made at the sawmill. So directly northeast of where we are now is where the lumber yard is, and we're going to head in that direction now. Once you reach there, you want to speak to the um, guy in the window and ask to um, make some regular planks um, from regular logs. You only need to do, to do this for one, and once you've made that, um, unless you've done this before, it'll come up saying task being complete. The next task is called Lumbering Around, and that's to chop down a, tie, a dying tree in the lumber yard. Um, you should be able to access the lumber yard through a hole in the fence, and once you've done that, you just want to uh, click one of the dying trees to chop it down, and as soon as you receive the logs, it will say task being complete. So the next task is journey to the centre of the earth altar and that's to enter the earth altar using an earth tiara or talisman. Now um, the quickest way to get here, if you have a wicked hood and you have an earth uh, talisman imbued into it, you can activate your wicked hood and choose to teleport straight to the earth altar and then once you go inside the ruins it will come up task being complete. If not you'll just have to walk round. Um, now the earth altar is located just near where the lumber yard is which is sort of to the northeast of Varrock. So either way you just want to head to the altar and enter it, as soon as you've done that it will say task being complete. The next task is called Limey and that's to mine some limestone in the Patadomus, uh, which is the temple to the east of Varrock. Um, so if you head east from the lumber yards uh, and follow the path towards the Patadomus, there's a part where you can sort of go north onto a cliff top and there's a load of limestone uh, mine rocks scattered around and using your pickaxe from your tool belt and level 10 mining, you just want to mine one load of limestone it will say task complete. So the next task is called Pot Stop, and that's to make a bowl on the pottery wheel, then fire it in the pottery oven in uh, Gunnersgren or Barbarian Village, as it's formerly known. So you want to head to Barbarian Village, um, either teleport into the Edgeville Lodestone and heading south from there, or um, just sort of go uh, west of where you are uh, now from the Varrock Lodestone. 
Once you arrive in Barbarian Village, you want to go into the Pottery House, and in using your soft clay, you want to use it on the Pottery Reel to make an unfired bowl, then use that on the oven to turn it into a normal bowl, and that will say a task being complete. Next task is called Sherpa's Delight, and that's to catch a trout in the river to the east of Barbarian Village. Go to the river, which is just to the east of it, and you should see a fishing spot. And then, with your fly fishing rod and feathers, you want to catch a trout. Um, you might catch some different fish as well, depending on your level, but as soon as a trout is caught, it will say task complete. So the next task is called Making Learning Fun, and that's to enter the second level of the Stronghold of Security. So what you want to do is head to the Stronghold of Security, which is located underneath Barbarian Village. Once you're in Barbarian Village, you want to enter via the little hole in the middle, and you'll arrive on the first level of the Stronghold of Security. You want to navigate through these different gate, uh, gates that are being displayed on the screen to you now, until you reach an area which has got a sort of a uh, wide open area. Uh, and then you need to use the nearby lever to go down on the second level. And as soon as you've done that, unless you've completed the task before, it will come up saying task being completed. So the next task is called Jumping Off Point, and that is to jump over the fence south of Varrock. So you're going to want to teleport back to the Varrock Lodestone via the Lodestone Network. Once you arrive from here, if you keep heading south towards the direction of Lumbridge, you'll eventually come up to an agility uh, shortcut on the minimap, which is a fence. And you need to click to jump over the fence, which requires 13 agility. And once you've done this, unless you've done it before, it'll come up the same task complete. So the next one is read all about it, and that's to buy a copy of the Varrock Herald. So you need to head to where the Varrock Fountain is, and to either walk back the way you came, or choose to teleport to the Lodestone, whatever you wish to do. And then you want to head to the Varrock Fountain, and there should be a guy nearby selling newspapers, and you want to talk to him to buy a copy of the Varrock Herald for 50 coins. And once you've done that, it'll come up saying uh, task being complete. The next task is called Dog and Bone, and that's to give a stray dog a bone. So um, there's plenty of stray dogs that scatter around uh, Varrock. Um, one in particular I know is in between sort of the Varrock Bank and the Grand Exchange. You should find a couple around there. Uh, what you want to do is go up to one of them, right-click your regular bones, and use that on the dog, and they'll come up saying task being complete. So the next task is called King of the Castle, and that's to find the highest point in Varrock. Now to get this, what you need to do is go to Varrock Castle, um, which is directly north of the Varrock Lodestone, so I'll speak to you once you've arrived there. Once you're at Varrock Castle, go to the northwest corner of the castle, and then there should be a load of ladders leading up, and you basically want to keep climbing these ladders till you get as high as you go, and then once you reach the very top, it should come up saying task being complete. So the next task is relocation, 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 and that's to move your player owned house portal to a different location using the Varrock Estate Agent. Now you'll find the Varrock Estate Agent on the eastern side of Varrock Castle near where the Varrock Museum is. So if you want to teleport to the Varrock Lodestone and then head to that direction from there. Once you arrive near the um, estate agent, you want to talk to him and ask to move your house and move to any location you like. Obviously, the price varies depending on where you specify, and also there are some level requirements. But as soon as you've moved it from one to the other, it'll come up saying task being complete. So, the next task is called It Belongs in a Museum, and that's to speak to Haig Halen after obtaining at least 50 kudos. Now, if you've completed the dig site quest, you should already have some kudos reward from that, and it should be enough to be able to just speak to Haig Halen straight away. If not, if you go into the Varrock Museum um, and go into the sort of basement, um, you should be able to speak to an explorer there who's located just near the staircase, and he will tell you that there's different um, sort of displays you can go up to, and it will. Um, ask you questions what you can basically do is go around after you're speaking to him uh, click in these different um, places so there's one for example which has the cow fight queen inside um, and there's also ones that have questions about penguins if you answer correctly you'll earn kudos from that um, and it should only take a couple of those to get you up to the 50 kudos mark um, I'm not going to bother showing that footage for the purpose of this guy but if you do need a bit more help with this particular task leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out but as long as you complete a dig site you should have enough kudos but um, Kuro to Haig Halen is located in the main sort of part of the Varrock Museum um, as soon as you go through the entrance so you literally just need to speak to him um, and go through some dialogue and then it should say task being complete. The next task is called Jack and Ori, and that's to have Elsie tell you a story. Now, Elsie you'll find in the Church of Saradoman on the uh, first floor, I believe. Um, so the Church of Saradoman is located east of Varrock Castle. It's just past the museum. 
once you arrive in the church go to the first floor and you should see Elsie uh, sitting on her rocking chair you want to use your cup of tea on her make sure you don't left click it so you drink it make sure you right click to select use once you've done that she should tell you a story uh, any story it doesn't uh, matter which one she does and then once she's told you it it should say task complete the next task is called stick the knife in and that's to venture through the cobwebbed corridor in the Varrock sewers so the Varrock sewers is located uh, just east of Varrock Castle. Uh, you need to get in there by uh, using the manhole that's nearby. Uh, so I'll speak to you once you're near there. Once you uh, arrive at the manhole and climb down, you basically want to follow uh, the Varrock sewer all the way through. You'll go past several different enemies and several doors. And then after a little while, I think it's past the skeletons, you'll come up to where there's a cobweb and you'll use your knife in the tool belt to slash through that so you can pass through. And as soon as you've done that, unless you've been this way before, it will say task complete. So the next task is called On the Ragged Edge, and that's to enter the Edgeville Dungeon using the entrance, which is located south of Edgeville Bank. Um, so either walk from uh, Barbarian Village, if you're currently there, to the north until you reach Edgeville, or use the Edgeville Lodestone to teleport there. Once you approach Edgeville Bank, you should see an area to the south which has a yew tree um, and also some nettles, and you should see a dungeon icon on the minimap, and that's to, uh, how to enter the Edgeville Dungeon, and as soon as you do that, it'll come up to the same task being complete. So, once you've completed all the tasks, and you may find that it comes up uh, for you earlier than expected, as you may have already completed a lot of these tasks on your general travelling around, like I said at the beginning of the video, it will say you've completed all the uh, Varrock tasks that are part of the easy set, and then what we need to do is go speak to Rat Burgess to get our rewards. Um, if by after like sort of going through all these tasks that you found it hasn't come up with that, you might want to open up the task window and just double check which ones have been completed or not, as you may have thought you've done a task and actually haven't but you can tell like I said by uh, the tick next to it and you'll see the ones that are all part of the set but you should get a notification when you've completed the last task of this set to say uh, to go speak to Rat Burgess. Now Rat Burgess can be found um, south east of the Varrock Lodestone so if you teleport to the Varrock Lodestone and then from there keep heading southeast until you find Rat Burgess there should be a uh, green um, quest star symbol it's not the quest obviously it means achievement but it looks like the quest symbol except it's green instead of blue and then you should see Rat Burgess nearby and you want to speak to him so after you finish speaking to him he'll congratulate you on completing the Varrock easy task and you'll be granted the various rewards so you would receive Varrock armor 1 when worn you have a chance of smelting two bars at once when smelting ores up to and including steel in the new Edgeville furnace you'll have a chance of mining two ores at once when mining ores up to and including coal it grants 1% bonus mining experience you have a higher chance of receiving the Skull Scepter part drops from the monsters in the Stronghold of Security. 16 battle staves may be bought from Zaf's Star Shop on a daily basis. You'll have the option to change your Varrock teleport to the entrance of the Grand Exchange instead of the Varrock Fountain by talking to Rat Burgess. And you'll also receive an Antique Lamp which will grant you 1000 experience in any skill at least at level 30. So that's it, Varrock easy task completed. Now the main rewards from this is obviously the first one is being able to change your Varrock teleport to the Grand Exchange entrance. Uh, that's a lot better, I personally find, as a lot of people do like going to the Grand Exchange quite often, so having a uh, Varrock teleport go to there is much easier. Um, also the Varrock arm reward is pretty good in terms of obviously being able to smell two bars at once or being able to mine two ores at once. Um, I believe um, the mining can sort of be anywhere um, as long as you've got the armor on and obviously as the armor upgrades by you completing more tasks it will go up so at the moment we can only um, get a chance of double ores when mining up to coal and um, once you've completed the medium task it will include up to mithril and so on and so forth access to the Edgeville furnace is also quite handy so that is literally just near the Edgeville bank and it makes it quite easy then going sort of back and forth to train your smithing um, in terms of smelting uh, bars on the furnace uh, but yeah, that is all um, for the guide on these tasks. Like I said, the order I've gave you is sort of the best in terms of uh, quickest to complete. However, like I said, you can do those tasks in any order you like, and you've probably found that you've already done some of those tasks um, beforehand anyway, so it might be worth sort of double checking just before you get started. If you run into any problems at all with your tasks and they don't seem to be completed and that, um, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best as I can. 
If not, thank you for watching everyone. Please make sure you like, favorite, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share with your friends. Cheers guys, bye bye.